In a new production of Twelfth Night, Tamsin Gregg plays Malvolia, a female incarnation of the play's puritanical steward, Malvolio. Cross-gender casting is all the rage. Sometimes it involves changing the name of the character, as with Malvolia. And sometimes it simply means that the character is played by an actor of the opposite sex. Maxine Peake took the role of Hamlet in 2014, and last year, Glenda Jackson played King Lear. Gender-blind casting opens up exciting possibilities for female actors. It's particularly important in Shakespeare, where there are far fewer meaty roles for women. And it can lead to fresh interpretations of both classic and modern works. However, done badly, gender-blind casting can feel like a bit of a gimmick, or at worst, a distraction. To give an actress of Tamsin's greatness the opportunity to play a character that even 10 years ago simply would not have been possible doesn't feel like a gimmick. It feels like a necessity. Because I think if we're going to keep rejuvenating these plays and keeping them alive, we need to be as bold in our decision making as Shakespeare was in his writing. So Tamsin Gregg brought this amazing kind of physical awkwardness mm. to the role mm. and she really captured that sort of prudishness, that mm. prim and properness. But I just wondered, do you think her Malvolia is different in any sense from the traditional Malvolio? Well, I think it's, um, the part's always different whenever an actor plays it, because whether we're a man or a woman, we're always going to bring our humanity and our individualism to these parts. So there's a lot of Tamsin's own personality in the role, and there's a lot of, I guess, um, interest in what it means to be a Puritan in contemporary times. It's a term that would have had a particular resonance to Shakespeare's audience, but for now, I guess I always understood Mavolia as being somebody that's a controlling person, a person who doesn't find the dirt and the cakes and ale, as it were, of Belch very easy to access. There's so much gender bending in Shakespeare, and particularly in a play like Twelfth Night. Mm. Were you kind of trying to draw out those aspects and say things about gender differently in, in this production? Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's certainly a, a, a play full of sexual slippage, and um, even to the point where the uh, happily married couples, in quotation marks, end up even kissing the wrong person at the very end in our production. So no one's ever quite sure of who they are. And that feels exciting because in a way, as a, as a culture today, we're also asking, can men become women, women become men? I've been reminded of Shakespeare's brilliance in that he, in the end, he transcends gender. And I, I think is always trying to say something even more universal than just a woman or a man, and really what it means to be a human being. Is there a danger that uh, gender-blind, gender-conscious casting becomes a kind of passing fad and that we'll only have one Malvolia per generation and that Tamsin Gregg will kind of own this in a great way but that perhaps other women might not so easily be able to take male parts? Well, I think the contrary in terms of, um, I feel once, once you've had a woman playing that part, it should inspire other women who are sitting in the audience, be they young actresses, to go, Goodness, on my dreams and my aspirations and the trajectory of roles that I can play, it's no longer Gertrude, but it might be Claudius. Catherine Hunter was the first professional woman to play King Lear back in 1997. Since then, she's also played the fool in Lear, as well as Richard III and other traditionally male roles. I tried to think very specifically as a man, because I think Leah is stuck in kind of patriarchal attitudes. Perhaps it's a cliche, but I think it is about discovering his feminine side. You know, he kind of talks to his heart and the uh, hysteric capacity or down, down, he's trying to suppress it. And it's only when it comes up, when he it allows him to come up, when it kind of bursts through, that he begins to see more clearly. So I felt that it was very important to constantly check myself that I was um, thinking as a man uh, as much as possible. <laughs> I think the great thing about uh, Deborah Warner's production with the magnificent Glenda Jackson is not only was it a, an extraordinary performance, um, but she has finally um, legitimised for all of us in a way that I wasn't able to do 30 years ago it was too soon. But I'm quite proud to have kind of made a little inroad. 
Berlin weren't allowed onto the public stage in Britain until 1660, over 40 years after Shakespeare died, and the theatre is still grappling with questions of gender today. When I saw Twelfth Night, however, I wasn't struck so much by Malvolia's femininity as by how well suited Tamsin Gregg was to the role. And it's thanks to gender-blind casting that audiences can enjoy this great marriage of actor and role.